All right, guys, we're going to start out today, or this evening, with 11-3, Volume of Pyramids and Cones. Our objectives are to learn the formula for the volume of the pyramid, learn the formula, and how to apply the volume of a cone. Okay. Um, the formula for volume of a prism was the area of the base times the height. So when you take a pyramid, the formula is the same, but then you've got to take a third of that. So it's one-third area of your base times your height. Okay? The height is the height of the pyramid. So it can be down inside the pyramid or it can be outside the pyramid. So we're going to find the volume of a rectangular pyramid with these dimensions. So I have a rectangular pyramid. So the base is my length and my width. And then the height of that pyramid. So I get 1,518 cubic meters. get this light off. Let's see if that helps. Okay. Now we're going to find the value of a square pyramid with the base edges 9 centimeters and the height 14. Okay. So we're going to use the same formula. Area of the base, since it's a squared, is side squared times the height of this pyramid. So my sides of my square are 9, and the height of the pyramid is given at 14. So we get 378 cubic centimeters. All right, now we have a regular hexagonal hexagonal pyramid with a height equal to the apothem of the base. Okay. So here's our formula for the pyramid. The area of the base formula is a hexagon, so it's going to be one half of the apothem times the perimeter and times the height of the pyramid, and the height of the pyramid is equal to the apothem of the base, which we don't know yet. Okay, so let's go over here. We need to find our central angle. 360 divided by 60 is 60, so our central angle is 60 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the smaller triangle here central angle, which would be this right here, is 60 degrees, so this angle is half of that, 30 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, okay? If this side length is 12, then this is 6. <coughs> so what we can do is we can use our 30, 60, 90 rule. So your side length is across from your 30 degree angle. The side length across from your 60 degrees is the side length times square root of 3. So that's our apothem. So we've got our apothem. We can find our perimeter. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to change colors here. Let's go ahead and do our perimeter here. Our perimeter is going to be 12 times 6 which is 72 feet. So we can key this in our formula. So we have one-third times one-half. The apothem is the 6 square root of 3 times the perimeter, which is 72, times the height. It says right here that the height is equal to the apothem. So the height, excuse me, is not 12. It's the apothem. So that's what you want to key in your calculator. 
And when you do so, you get 1,296 cubic feet. Okay, find the volume of a regular hexagonal pyramid with the base length of 2 centimeters and a height equal to the area of the base. Okay. So let's start with our formula. And we have a hexagonal again, so it's going to be 1 half. Pothum times the perimeter times the height of that pyramid. All right, so we're going to do the central angle. And we just did it. So you took the 360 divided by the 6 and got 60 degrees. So this is your smaller triangle, there's your 30 degrees, here's your 60 degrees. And it says that the base, with the base edge length of 2 centimeters. So up here on this hexagonal, this is your central angle, this here is 2 centimeters, so this here would be 1 centimeters. So our apothem, again if our side length is 1 across from your smaller angle, from the 60 degree angle is going to be that side length times the square root of 3. Okay, so we need perimeter. Perimeter would be the side length times 6 because there's 6 sides to a hexagon. And we need the height. Height is equal to the area of the base. So the area of the base is going to be one half your apothem times your perimeter. So let's see. Height is going to be half of 12, which is 6. 6 square root of 3. Now we've got all the information and we can substitute it into our original formula right here, okay? All right, so we have one third. We have the area of the base. The opossum is square root of 3. The perimeter, we said, is 12 times the height, which in the question, it says the height is, the, is equal to the area of the base. Well, here's the area of that hexagon. So the height is 6 square root of 3. And you're going to get... Let's see, what do we have here? We have one third, six square root of three times six square root of three. And when we work all that out, we're going to get 36 centimeters cubed. Just checking on time there. Let's go ahead and talk about cones. If the formula for volume of a cylinder is the area of the base times the height, what do you think it is for the cone? Uh, we're going to skip this one. I forgot about that one. You take a third of the area of the base times the height of that cone. So let's apply this. So it's one-third area of that circle, the base, times the height of this cone. So what's given here? Radius. And the height. Okay, so we can substitute in. Then what's your answer in terms of pi and rounded to the nearest tenth? 
So in terms of pi, which I did not do, so let me work it out real quick. Okay, so, and then I gotta take a third of that, which what I could do is I could just do this. simplifies to 245 pi centimeters cubed. See guys, you don't always have to have a calculator. Okay, so here's one of my answers. And then when we times that by pi, we're going to get approximately 769 and 7 tenths cubic centimeters. There's my second answer. Okay, I'm going to stop it to make sure we have time. And we're going to need a part two. So I'll see y'all in just a minute.